Alright guys, we have some shrimp tacos. I don't think my thumbnail took, so hopefully this live works. <laughs> but, let's try to smile for the thumbnail. Okay. How are you doing today? Waiting for fun people to come in. <laughs> shrimp tacos. Yum. One person's here. We're not going to eat until I get a comment. So comment. <laughs> Shrimp tacos. Hi, Mama Peterson's house. How are you doing? We're having shrimp tacos. Do you like shrimp? Five people here. I had I had tacos too. It looks delicious. Yeah, this is a place called Rubio's. I don't know if you guys have it. It's like a fast food slash Mexican restaurant chain type of thing. Hi, Becky. Hi, Locke. I can't pronounce your name, but you know. Um, I don't think that, anyways, so, at least you can see, there's some shrimp right there, I don't know if you can see that. So, anyways, um, today, oh, thank you for the like, or give me a like, I really appreciate it, like can help my videos get more recognized on YouTube, you know, on the YouTube platform thing. Um, I want to say, face looks really good today, today I went to, um, Whole Foods meant sampling their like Kim and I was sampling their face products so anyways I'm just kidding. so like um today around 5 36 I'm meeting my friend Jean we're gonna tr you know do our Reiki trade and um, this is a spot I usually come to it's pretty close to where I do my massage Reiki trades my massage clinic and um, this is a place I go to a lot if I want a quick snack is Rubio's they they're famous for the fish tacos but I love their shrimp tacos um, shrimp is what I go for you see that shrimp right there I got some chips I got some salsa so let me know how you guys are doing today Oh, your name's Kim? Oh, sorry. Hi, Kim. How are you? I am doing fabulous. Can you tell? No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just sorry. Somebody, I was, I did a video where it was really funny, and um, somebody liked that, so I'm trying to be funny to see if it's going home. I don't know if it is. It's from a salsa bar. Hi, Bailey. This is a combination of um, cilantro and onion. So, let me show you what I'll be doing. I'll be putting that in the tacos. These are shrimp, by the way. Beautiful budget queen. Hi. Hi, Lacey. I saw your comment today on um, Nicado Avocado's video. What do you think about um, Jollibee? What do you think about um, his apartment? So, guys, if you guys don't know, Nicado Avocado just bought an apartment, a $1.1 million or something, uh, over a million dollar apartment in the downtown Los Angeles area. I don't know if you guys know that or if you guys watch him. Um, so I did a um, breakfast video this weekend with a breakfast burrito and I talked about how excited I was. He seemed so excited. He kept on talking about I'm rich, I'm rich, which is really good because when you want to manifest money, you want to say positive affirmations. I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. And I was like, oh, I'm really happy and excited. Like, and he got so excited in the video and it's just like, I know exactly how he felt because that's how I felt. Hi, Kaden. When I had my own apartment, I know exactly how I felt. But then I, today, or no, yesterday at my work, I was looking at the comments. So it was really interesting. Some of them said it was an air, air r and I think I'm pronouncing it right. I'm not sure. Something like that. You know that is right. And, um, and then some people sent a link to it. And when I clicked on it, you can see the actual apartment. It looks exactly like it. It was, it was actually an air r and or something like that. Airbnb. I never can pronounce it right because I've never been on one and I don't know much about it. Airbnb. Okay. So I was talking to a YouTube, YouTube friend today. We were, we were chatting and texting and I was like, isn't it great? YouTube can make you this much money. But I don't know if it's real or not because people are posting it as an Airbnb. So I wanted to send her the link. So I went to, to his page and I, I couldn't find the link anymore. So I don't know if he deleted it or if I can't find it. I don't know. But um, I don't know. I, I just like it's interesting. This is actually real or not. So, um, but I love this new place. This place was 
for some kind of liquid diet. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm curious what's going to happen with this. Um, I'm eating shrimp tacos. So I'm just curious what's going to happen with this um, situation. <laughs> if it's actually real or not. But um, And some people don't think it's in downtown LA. Some people thought it was, and I think it's called Korea Town, I think. If that's a thing in LA, I'm not sure. Right now I'm putting some salsa on the tacos. I'll show you afterwards what it is. But it's my favorite thing at Rubio's. I get it all the time. I just love it. So that's what we're working with. And um, Korean barbecue. I got another request for that. My brother wanted me to do Korean barbecue. I'll think about that. It's... I don't know if I'm a big fan of Korean barbecue, but this has shrimp, avocado, cabbage. My brother's funny. So that's what it looks like. So and when I did my breakfast video, let me take my first bite, then I'll talk about the what I did this past weekend. Mmm. My favorite at Rubio's. It's a sausage dripping. It's like a creamy. I'm actually not really on a lunch break, but I'm meeting my friend today. We're gonna do a Reiki exchange. So I'm excited. I haven't, I haven't had Reiki in a while. So I'm not really, I'm not working tonight in my cashier job. I'm today and tomorrow off. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna have to do laundry. But, um, so yeah, kind of my, my off day, evening. Off thing. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Yesterday. That was a rush day because I filmed a breakfast burrito, guys. I'm trying to talk about that. I filmed a breakfast burrito. A breakfast burrito. I'm home. I made it. I made it. Um, I made hash browns and a fruit. And you guys all wanted it, <laughs> so I did that. And um, I was rushing because I was like, I barely made, made it time for work. I had to like, I had these. I edited the shrimp foil video that same day. <coughs> so I talked about. You always see, but in the video, I talk. I will be talking about how excited I was for Nick Avocado's apartment, and how he said, "I'm rich, I'm rich." <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. You gotta say positive affirmations, even if your mind doesn't believe it. If you keep on saying it, your mind will eventually believe it. So, and I'm actually thinking about doing a video about the law of attraction, about how I manifest in my apartment because I feel like it's perfect for me. It's an idea. I've seen these videos and I want to make one eventually. I don't know when, but soon. Shrimp tacos. Mm. I have to say, I look fabulous today. Hi, hmm. Richard. How are you? So, what else did I do today? Or what else did it, what was happening with me? Uh, I might cut my hours at, at my cashier job. I was coming back and forth with what, what, how many hours I should, I should cut off. But because with my cashier job, um, hi, Royal. If I cut two days for the week, I would. Instead of making a thousand extra a month, I've been only making eight hundred dollars a month. Um, but I think I can afford it. Afford to do that with my um, all my other jobs, my two other jobs. Well, for oh, thank you. Uh, I get a lot of comments on the shrimp boil. I was I was impressed. 
I could tell a lot of people like the shrimp foils. That was really good. It was really fun to make too because I never made it. So it was kind of fun to make it. Yeah, and I really, um, I enjoyed it. So I'm never having a trip again. Um, Blood's life's been a lot of, um, um, a lot of U um, UTV and new shows and they keep on talking about her making a million dollars on on YouTube and making more fun videos and the, if go, if Rudy goes around, um, yeah, send me a good recipe roll, y'all. I, I would love it. If Rudy goes around, I think a lot of people might be might be going on this trend of mukbang videos. If they think one person can make a million dollars doing it, I think everybody's gonna be doing it. <laughs> Just my opinion. <laughs> Okay. That's a Hollywood. Okay, was that what it was? I saw a short clip on her on her Instagram. I was hoping to watch the whole video. Maybe if I put it, maybe if I googled it, or maybe it's on YouTube or something. I really want to watch the whole video, like about that. But she was on two different shows, I think. saw it on YouTube? I don't see that. It really inspires me. So I'm drinking like water, but it has, I put some lime and lemon in it. So it really inspires me when big YouTubers make a lot of money. I know. Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday. We turn nervous if something happened. Yeah, I mean, I guess you do it for a while, or maybe you can save money. I don't know. <coughs> I'm doing pretty good, Maria. How are you? We're just having some shrimp taco. And some before um, I do a ride with you trade with somebody like one of my friends so some chips only one meal I might have to put I want to make more um my niece I slept one time she got like a sleeping bag she slept in the hallway there's very little room to sleep so <laughs> She enjoyed it. Mm. So, 19 people here, not a lot of people talking. So, if you have any questions, ask me. Go ahead. If you have any food requests, go ahead. Not your chance. No chips. Pot. How does the salsa taste? It's a slight spicy, slight. It's supposed to be mild, but it's kind of spicy. Um, yeah. I live in Northern California. Uh, see, I can't talk. <laughs> I lived in Northern California all my life, pretty much. I lived in San Diego a little bit. Um, like in seventh grade or something. African cuisine. Hmm. Interesting. I have to look to see what I have in my area for that. Hmm. I did slow food. Does that count? Or is that different?
got some spicy this also. <coughs> we don't have that here. What, you don't have Robios? Some. Let's see. Maybe a medium food. Yummy. Okay. African cuisine. Okay. Shaw Ray. Okay. Oh, there's my wine. Oh, 26. We got more people. I, I went online a little bit earlier than I should have, but I guess. So, like, if you just if you just logged on, you, um, that yeah, you know, your opportunity to ask any questions. You want to try the Burger Burger King taco? Don't expect too much. And I don't think it's real meat. <laughs> just saying. Close up on a taco, shrimp taco, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You know what? Before the video, I was telling everybody my skin does look really good. I don't know why, but I went to Whole Foods and I sampled a couple of stuff. I got this today. It cost 20 bucks, but I wanted something nice for my face. Um... It's called a cure. Welcome to the skin wellness. It's supposed to be a day cream, but it has vitamin C, and I th my face responds greatly and really well with vitamin C. That's what it looks like. I just I I was out on face cream, but um it has turmeric in it too. So so I used a, a couple samples from Whole Foods, and um, the makeup was just very lightly makeup, just foundation. Um, I forget. I think it's eye, not eyeshadow. It's mascara, and lipstick. That's all. So, can you do a video on homemade nachos or nacho cheese taste test? Buy three brands of cheese dips to see what you do. I can try to do that. I've done. I don't know if you. I did do a homemade nachos on my other channel. I don't know if you saw that. <coughs> yeah, the problem with cereal is. is I'm not really big on the cereal. That's a problem. Um, I usually like um, eggs in the morning for breakfast. Like if I'm in a rush to go to work, I'll have banana. Um, but I'm not much of a cereal. I thought about adding blush, but one time I did it, it looked okay, just okay. But I could. My brother doesn't live with me. I mean, my brother lives kind of far. He lives like eight hours from me. So, a lot of people think that he's close and he's not. I was only on vacation. It's probably going to happen once a year. So, don't expect him that much because it costs money to travel. I don't have a lack of lemon right now. So. I do have a lot of shrimp. Well, I do have a lot of shrimp left over. I wouldn't mind making another shrimp boil. That was really good. But I might make shrimp pasta, maybe. That's that would be good, right? Shrimp pasta. Mm. I'm from the Bay Area. I live in California. Where are you from? I can't wait for your travel vlogs. Oh, that's not gonna happen soon. Um. I just did some. 
Um, a few weeks ago, I was at my job, and I thought really quick. I kind of got nervous, so I sat down on the table for myself. Because there was two, there was two shakes. Kind of made me nervous a little bit. Um, what do you think if Gavin News News Mom? I don't know who that is. Are they a YouTuber? What's your favorite thing to get from Chinese takeout? Um, chow mein's always good. Beef broccoli, and um, I think it's called prawn shrimp or something shrimp. What's what's that thing? It's like a shrimp, but it's sweet with walnuts. It's called something. Oh, I don't know if I should talk about politics on this channel. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about doing a Chinese food. How? Hi, L A Flor Mas Bella. Sorry. Honey walnut shrimp. Yeah, that, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Cool. Um, I'm not really big on Panda Express. Um, because um, I'm eating shrimp tacos. I, I'm, next time I do Chinese food on this channel, I want to do like a really nice Chinese food on this channel. You know, like a nice authentic. Um, Chinese, Chinese food, um, because that last one I went, did a video, wasn't very good, so I want to get like a really nice Chinese person. Do I ever eat fried legs? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> That's funny you ask me that, because, um, um, when I was a kid, my dad would take me out to kill some frogs and eat frog legs, believe it or not. I don't think I ever eat frog legs. I was really nervous, but um, I don't know if I ever ate the frog. I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna eat the frog. <laughs> but um, I don't. Yeah, I don't really know if I, I don't think I ate a frog leg. My dad wanted to eat them though. Tastes like chicken. Yeah, probably just probably just like chicken. people here. Oh. oh, that's funny. I've been thinking about doing a Dollar Tree um, with one video. I don't see that often. So, it's I don't see that often in... Um... It'll be fun to do. It'll be fun to do like a Dollar Tree. I also want to do a um, farmer's market one. I went to farmer's market last week and I saw a Filipino place. And my Filipino videos get a lot of views. So I thought about doing that too. as a paper press for you guys.
pictures? No, I did not. I did not. <laughs> They're really five oysters good. Royal. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I just like shrimp and crab and lobster. It's three seafood dishes all the time, like. Get scammed there? From a, from a um, really? Or how? Wow. You make your eel on the corner fishes, yeah. That was a really good shrimp oil. I mean, it was slightly spicy, but it was really good. <coughs> Well, honestly, I've always been on YouTube. I started YouTube, my YouTube journey 10 years ago or something. I made, um, what did I make? Um, <clears throat> teacher Julia. Oh, I made short films. And then, if I wanted to get famous, Dr. Samir got famous. But that didn't happen. So after that, I took like a three year break. I came on to YouTube again and I thought, well, what would I like? I really like watching good reviews. So I started to watch do the reviews. <coughs> and then my friend Linda, who lives in San Francisco, was like, she wanted to, she was into YouTube too. Because before she did YouTube too, then she took a break like I did. Because I think she was getting like harassed by some people. But she did a great channel of recipes, very simple, easy recipes. Um, but then she's like, well, we should just do a collab. Let's just do a mukbang video. I'm like, what's that? And so I searched it. I go, this is weird. Saw so some guy just eating and laughing. I go, I guess I can try it. <laughs> so that's how I got started in my mukbangs. But I've always been on YouTube for quite a while. I want to do a something mukbang book block. I K Joe eight eight eight. So, yeah, I just thought it was always fun to be on YouTube. And then, after the videos on my social, media, that was fun. I connected with other people who had social anxiety just like I did, and it was really cool. We all supported each other. That was really fun. So I'm on YouTube for a while. Talked about my relationship. No, my therapist issues. I had a really bad... Oh, I should do a story time with this therapist. <laughs> He's bad. 50 bucks an hour. That's what will get you. <laughs> I was talking to him and I caught him glancing this other way like he was not even listening to me I was like <laughs> right now I'm just eating chips before we should therapy for my shyness issues kitchen table why don't people i don't get that i even did a video and i show you my kitchen table and nobody believes i don't have i i don't know, I have it i have a kitchen table guys what part in the bay area do you live in i have a kitchen table 
what, what video did I put that on? Burger King. If you watch my Burger King video, the very beginning part of my Burger King video of the tacos, you see my bur You see what... Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, you know what? If you're going to like talk like this... Because it's a, it's not a tray, t it's not a TV tray. <coughs> I don't know, guys. And people, I mean, I don't know. What say. No one. People who are gonna meet, have mean comments, are gonna be deleted off the channel. Because basically, you know, you're just a kid. Right? So someone told me to kill myself, so I'm gonna do that after I eat this. But I don't know how I'm gonna kill myself. With a knife, with a gun. I don't have a gun around. Small. You think it's really small? It's not small. I want to kill myself so freaking bad. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. We made it. How are you? Did you watch my shrimp boil video? Because somebody told me I should kill myself, so I'm not going to First, I'm not here anymore. Maybe they left. Oh, good. That's good. Hope you liked it. I mean, it's my first shrimp boil, so if you guys don't think I did it right, let me know. <coughs> I mean, I don't know. I wanted it, I did, I found a recipe with a lot of sauce. I wanted it to be saucy. So. So, I guess better have a sauce today, y'all. Yeah. Extra sauce. That's good. Okay, just to let you know, my brother and mom don't live don't live near me. <clears throat> I don't know my brother's channel. I forgot it. Um, he commented, he comes to my videos all the time under Kevin Clark, so just go to check his channel out if you I just something note right now. I don't think I did it right. What would you do different? I'm so I don't know. I mean, if I didn't do it right, it tastes amazing. I copied the recipe of the video. So. I could club with him. I could. Guys, just let so you know, I have a subscriber and one person has 2,500. It's not very likely they're going to collab with you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was very lucky to collab with Sauce Queen because she has a hundred thousand subscribers. So it's just it's just harder because people don't usually want to collab with somebody that. King Calorie TV. Oh, thank you for that. That's a nice comment. That's good. Very healthy. I can't get some. Yeah, I can't eat much as much as Nick.
Well, guys, check out Nick Hakata. I've got his new video on this apartment. I don't know what you think. He a million dollars. And if you feel a lot of, you know, after this video uploads, let me know what you think about this whole apartment. Some people didn't think it was worth a million dollars. So, it was a very interesting video. He was very excited. And he's like, I'm rich. I'm rich. It was just really funny. Why do I have a tidy? Why do I talk fast? I don't know. I have to work on it. I have to have problems right now. Talk fast. I can't speak clearly. What else? What else is wrong with me? My hair is is not straight. Um. What else? A lot, a lot of people come. With my hair. I hate my hair. You are natural. Thank you. But, um, uh, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, I like how I am too. I don't want to change for subscribers. I want to just, you know, I want to change for myself. Like with my nails, I, I thought about it and maybe my nails look better when I do food reviews. Although I think Nick blue and this nail broke. You know what? I did do the, I did try the tongue twisters the other day at my work. It, it was, um, it was interesting. It was different. It was really cool though. Um, um, yeah, when people complain about me too, too much, like, you, you know, your nails, you're ugly, or your hair looks ugly, you need to straighten it. I get upset, you know, see, not gonna lie. <laughs> That's normal, right, you know? But, um, I don't like my hair straight. I used to bite my nails, I can't anymore. Oh, I did bite this nail. I have a bit of my nose that's got no dish. But I used to buy my nails. So, um. And it's okay. I just. Working on speaking clearly is different than changing your looks. Yeah, that's true. They're bullies. I probably have their own self esteem in yours. Um. Yeah, it's something I need to work on. And when I was younger, oh, thank you. I mean, honestly, I had speaking issues when I was in, very young, so maybe that's why I can't speak clearly. And my brother was like, my brother was like, you should talk like this. Today, we are having shrimp tacos <laughs> and chips. So, are you guys excited <laughs> to enjoy a meal with me? That's how you think that you're taught. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I mean, I get what you're saying. <laughs> you pr that's probably very clearer, clearer, right? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean... I'm trying. I'm, you know, I mean, I do appreciate what you guys are saying. You know, you're saying I should speak more clearly and I should get my hair done and straighten. <laughs> I got my nails done and, and like, you know, I don't have a table. Um, <laughs> but, um, so I'm trying, I'm, I'm just taking things, what you say, and I'm just trying to figure out what I need to do to improve myself. I talk fast. Everybody's always on. Yeah. It, I think it's my mind. It's, and I just, I want to get everything out, and then I talk fast, so. Some of us just work and go home, not social. It's fun to see you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I want to do more videos, because I want to, you know, buy a house like um, this avocado for $1.1 million. You want to say it? <laughs> so I need the money. <laughs> I feel better today. I feel really good today. I think it's because I'm going to have a Reiki session. Have you ever put your pony in a When I was a kid. It's, but yeah, what else good? Anyways, guys, um, I'm gonna, so it's nice. Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, man, I gotta get ready to go. I'm gonna, I don't know if I, you came in, I don't know if I told you, you know, Chakra clearing crystals for her, for Christmas. So she wants to know how to use it and she's gonna bring them with me. So I guess I'm gonna have a chakra clearing today. I'm really excited. So this should like energy and make me feel better and. So she's probably um, waiting for me right now, so she get going. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be really fun. 
and yeah so um thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you i really um copyright that's your channel name <laughs> um yeah thank you so much and um i'm refreshing watch thank you oh sorry i'm really i know i gotta go i gotta do my reiki healing tonight but um i might do a video later tomorrow or maybe tonight we'll see um i've been thinking about doing a vid uh, a live video on meal prepping so i don't know if you guys are into that but um um might we do that as well but, um thanks for watching see you next video